2008. Well, it should, uh, and even more timely than that is the opening up of the floodgates of corporate money. Uh, with the system we have now where it appears that George Wallace may have been right years ago, there's not a dime's worth of difference. Uh, it's awful interesting to look at where the Wall Street money has gone in the last few years. I, I am a good Democrat, but it's obvious from looking at the contributions some people in Washington have taken, they're not that good of a Democrat by what I've always felt like a, de a good Democrat would be. Anybody that uh, takes the kind of money they do from a Wall Street, uh, I, I always thought it was the Republicans that did that, and then I found out that it, that's not necessarily so. I ran for office in 1978. I'd never been in the state senate before, and I decided to run for the state senate. I ran against an incumbent and two challengers, and I raised and spent 2700 and something dollars. I made campaign signs out of uh, uh, scraps of lumber home builders would give me at uh, building sites. I had a fireman friend that would paint them. Uh, I mostly went around to little league games and door to door and asked people to vote for me. And after the election was over with, I went to Montgomery and met a lobbyist after I got elected and went to the state capitol after I got elected. So I went to the, the state senate as a senator about as naive as a person could be. And uh, after 16 years of filing lawsuits against uh, appropriations that were hidden in bills that the public didn't know about, and after uh, other experiences I had, uh, it became obvious that I didn't fit in. And uh, I had, I felt like I had diligently worked to try to change the system. And when I came to the realization that I hadn't changed the system, and they came to the realization that they couldn't beat me in the district that I was in because I, I ran against some pretty good candidates and uh, it wasn't close. They reapportioned the district and put the street I lived on in a district that included Walker County and Winston County and made it absolutely impossible for me to be reelected. But I'd already decided that it was time for me to move on and let somebody with a new perspective have a chance. But while I was in the Senate, I did pass Alabama's first consumer protection law. I did, I was the Senate sponsor of the first funding for a, a, a domestic abuse shelters. I did pass a resolution calling for a constitutional convention, which is something nobody has ever done since, and I'm not sure if they had done it before, but I actually got it passed the Senate. 